Welcome to today's live event. My name's Jamie and I'm here in the Happy Fabric studio. Today I'm going to teach you how to put your photos onto t-shirts at home. It's super easy. You don't need a cutting machine or any other tools, just your photos and a plain t-shirt, also an iron or a heat press. If you're going to be selling the items you make, we do recommend you invest in a heat press. The one I've got here is the Happy Press 4, size A4, and it's an auto open as well. So I'll show you how that works. So how do you put photos onto t-shirts? This can also work on any other textile that can take 145 degrees of heat. So our custom heat transfers are absolutely brilliant. I'll come close to the camera. I'm actually wearing one. So oh, it's come out of focus a little bit there. But as you can see, it's very high quality. It come out beautifully moves nicely with the fabric as well. So these can all go through the wash as well. So the main part of this live event today is to show you how to get the photos onto the design tool, and then once they arrive, how to apply them to the clothes themselves. As I said, it's super easy, so this won't be a long video at all. Go to happyfabrictransfers.co.uk and then it will ask you to choose a product. So this is a screenshot of the website. As you can see there, there's lots of different size options, and things like that. So there's two transfer products. One is called Ultra Color and the other is called Ultra Color Max. So what I'll be using today is this yellow one here. This is my favorite one personally. It's 55 by 55. So it's pretty big sheet. You can put as many designs and colors, photos, artwork, text, anything you like on this massive sheet and fill it. The price does not change depending on how much you put on the sheet. Whatever you can fit is perfect. So that's the one I normally go for because I'm usually doing lots of different projects. If you are a small business, for example, or you're looking to order a large quantity of the same photo or design, then I would recommend going for the ultra color. There are a minimum order of 10, but there are price breaks as you get into larger order quantities. So if you're not looking to do larger quantities, then maybe go for the ultra color max, which has no minimum order. And as I said, you can create that gang sheet and put as many designs on there as you like. So today we'll be working with the yellow one there, the 55 by 55 Ultra Color Max. So that's choosing your size and your type of transfer. Either type of transfer will be beautiful, high quality result. You can go through the wash, all that kind of thing. So then you'll move on to the design tool. So no matter what you've chosen, it will look the same. You can upload your file to that tool. So for example, I've uploaded a picture here and it will ask you to agree that you have the rights to use it. And this is just for copyright reasons. So you don't want to be uploading someone else's designs or work and ripping them off as your own, especially if you're selling them. So I've got my photo here. Um, I've told the design tool that yes, it's my photo, I can use this. And it's even got a free quality checker here. So you can resize you want. And then that green bar will tell you if it's going to come out nice and clear or if it might be a bit blurry, the line will go red. And you can resize that to find the perfect size so that it comes out nice and clear. You've also got buttons along here so you can copy and paste your designs in. You can also add, as I said, loads of different designs. So you could put a row of your logo on, anything you like really. There is no limit on color. And once you're happy with your design in the design tool, all you have to do then is order. The sheet of 55 by 55 was £34.80, and I will show you what it looks like when it arrives. So it will come to you nicely rolled up in a tube like this. So you can already see all of the color that I've got going on. And if I unroll it, you'll see just how big this sheet of transfers is just keeps going so there you go it doesn't even all fit on the screen that's how big it is like I said it didn't affect the price how many things I put on it so I wanted to fill it as much as I possibly could all of my different projects as I said you could also put 
your logo on in different sizes. So if you wanted to create uniforms or branded goods, you could put your logo on there. Yeah, so what I've done here, these are the pictures that I'm gonna to use today. This is my dog. You can see she's already nice and clear, but it's got this kind of um, translucent kind of sheeting. And once we've applied the transfer, and peel off that sheeting. It's so high quality and I can't wait to show you. And then what I've done, I've gone into Canva, but there's lots of online tools that will do this and I've removed the background on one of them. So I thought that was quite nice, which is what I've done with the cat as well. So as you can see, lots of different designs there. Really excited. See, Halloween's coming up, so I have made a lot of Halloween designs. So my next step after receiving these for the post would be to cut out the ones that I want. We don't have to worry about cutting exactly around it as we do with HTV, because all of this space is almost like a carrier sheet, so it will just come away, it won't apply. So, sorry, I'm just gonna turn my back to you to cut these out quickly. So, let's go with this one here. As I said, you just need to roughly cut these out, it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so there we go. There she is. Doesn't really wanna, there we go. There she is, so this is my dog. I could have made her a lot bigger than this actually. Um, you can go all the way up as long as your quality is good. And these were just taken on iPhone as well. So they've come out really nicely. So there's my little picture of my dog. And then the other thing you get, similar to if you order our heat transfer vinyl, is you get your instruction sheet, as well as kind of your receipt part as well. So at the bottom there, it tells you the product and then how long you need to apply it for, what temperature, what pressure, and what temperature the peel is. So how long you need to leave it before you peel away that carrier sheet at the end. So that's a really handy piece of paper, hold on to that, um, and you can double check it if you're not sure on what temperature or times you need. So if you're using an iron for this, you will need to set it to the two dot setting with no steam. Really important that you don't use any steam because that can affect the um, adhesive part of the transfer. Same with HTV. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre-press this T-shirt. I've set my press to 145 degrees or 12 seconds. So very similar to HTV. Just wait for that to pop up. Perfect, so this is the auto open press. I don't even have to worry about lifting it up, it's brilliant. So if I pull this t-shirt out, I've got that lovely pull out drawer on here as well. So if you're using an iron, make sure you pre-press as well. So just give it a quick iron, again, no steam. And then I've just got to take my transfer. Like I said, it doesn't matter how neatly you've cut this out. Pop it on there. And then you don't have to use greaseproof paper for this but I just like to be in the habit of always using it because I switch from HTV to transfers, all sorts of different things. I think it's just always nice to have that extra layer of protection. So pop that under there and then we'll give that 12 seconds. While we wait for that, this is another example of a transfer. Let's look at that detail. You couldn't even get that from multiple layers of HTV. It is stunning what you can achieve. So nice and quick. And this one's actually um, a hot peel, so you can peel it straight away, so no need to wait. And there we go. She looks so cute. You can actually see all of the little hairs and all of the kind of dots in her nose. There she is. I hope that's coming out high enough quality on the camera, but it is beautiful in real life. There you go. It's got her in focus now. She looks really cute, so already ready to go. Like I said, this could have been a lot bigger, so obviously this, my cat's face is really big. You can get it all the way up to fill the sheet as long as it's high quality enough. I think this is so cute. So that is literally how simple it is. So I think this, is, this sort of thing is really good for kind of hen parties or stag do's, birthdays. If you just want your, face, your pet's face on a t-shirt like me, I've made some really cute things like a treat bag for my cat, that sort of thing, using photo transfers. But like I said, you can use it for lots of other things as well. So not just photos, so like pieces of artwork, 
got a really lovely video example on our channel of our creative expert, Sam, who made a memory quilt for her daughter. So what she did is she scanned in all of her daughter's artwork from over the years and it picked up incredible detail. So like crayon, paint, everything. And then she popped them onto a sheet of transfers, ordered those and then pressed them onto the quilt so that she's always got memories of her artwork growing up. I think is just fantastic. So definitely have a look at that if you're interested in doing something similar. You can also pop text in as well. So if I go back to the design tool, so you've got the option to add text on there as well. We've also got some preloaded designs for you as well if you're not sure what to put on there, which are very minimal cost to add to your design. So we've preloaded some stuff if you want to use that on the stock library as well. There's so many things that you can do with this. I said it's never been easier. So, as I said, I've got a real collection of things. I've combined text and images here. Um, for me, I'm not really the designing type, so I'm not very technical with my drawing and things like that. So I've just used an online tool, Canva, to create most of my stuff or just uploaded my pictures. I've also got these drawings that I made of dinosaurs, bees and elephants. And that looks really effective as well when you press them on. Like I said, it, even on the sheet, it looks really high quality. But once you peel them, it's just stunning. Like, it's so high quality. It is incredible. So I'm just going to move to some of your questions. Some of the questions I think I'm going to answer on the comments because I can see we've got quite a few. This is quite um, a new process for a lot of people. I think it it's magic, isn't it? So it's really hard to get your head around until you've actually seen it in practice and how easy it really is. So let me just have a quick look at the questions. Okay, hello. So, um, so our first question is how much does a sheet cost? So that's a really good question. The sheet that I've got today, that huge 55 by 55 is £34.80. So as I said, you can put however much you want on there. There's no extra cost for extra designs, extra colors, anything like that. So I'd really advise you if you're like me doing a lot of projects or really want to get the most out of it, put as much as you can on there. I made some um, wedding gift bags and I got such small text on there. I wouldn't have been able to weed that with HTV anyway, but there was hundreds of Things. So it made the transfers, each one, like a penny or something silly each, which is incredible value. So that's the sheet I used, but they do vary, obviously, according to size and how many you order, all that kind of thing. Again, if you're not sure which one would be right for you, do send us a message um, and we can help you have a look at that and choose the right one. Thank you for that question. So the second question, which heat press? This is that um, a bit later on in the stream. This is the Happy Press 4. So this is size A4 and it's the auto open as well. So it opens by itself. So that's an optional added feature. We also do these in pink and turquoise in different sizes. So definitely have a look in the heat press section of our website if you're looking to invest in a press. So can I do this with a cricket? So yes, you can absolutely do this with a cricket. So um, I'm assuming you mean like a handheld craft press type thing. So that's absolutely fine. We've got lots of content on our channel and on our blog about applying vinyl using an iron or a handheld craft press. So the same thing, you want the two dot setting, no steam or anything, and then iron whatever you're gonna be pressing onto. Make sure there's no creases or moisture and then you want to hold it still firmly in place for the full 12 seconds on every area of the design if it's smaller than your heat plate. So what's really um, important is if you are selling goods, it's always best to invest proper heat press. So you've got that accurate time, temperature and pressure um, to help the transfers, which will outlast the garment if you apply them properly. So that is really, really important that you get those instructions right. But they are very easy to do. So 
how long do they take to get there? So if you order them, um, I think it's by 4 p.m., I want to say. Um, I'll double check that and get back to you in the comments. But um, yep, when you order them, they obviously need a day to print and then they'll be popped in the post. Say so they will be with you at least within the week, sometimes even within a couple of days. So they're really quick turnaround. Like I said, when they get there, you can pop them straight on. So is there a certain time frame to use them in? So that's a really good question. So do you have to use them all immediately? No. So a lot of people like to receive their sheet, especially if they've got the bigger sheet with lots of designs, and then simply cut them out and then store them nicely away. Just make sure you store them properly. So um, in a dry area, away from direct sunlight, all that kind of thing. Um, just to keep them nice and fresh so that they will apply perfectly when you're ready to use them. This is really good for businesses and things like that. So you can create things um, that are really personalized. So for example, you don't have to buy your blanks in until you've got an order and then you're ready to go as soon as you have an order come in. So that's quite a nice thing. Also, I think they're really good for hen parties and stuff like that as well, because everyone can have their own size jumper or T-shirt or whatever it is. And then you've all got the same design and you can apply those really easily. We've got a really good review on our YouTube page from Lupria Sewing, who did use the transfers for her sister's bachelorette party. And the results were incredible. She applied them with an iron and they all had front and back personalized using the transfers. So that's really a special project. Okay, one more. So is it just photos? So no, as I said, it's not just photos you can pop on there. You can use artwork. So if, you're, um, if you enjoy digital artwork, things like that, you can use your physical artwork. You can scan and upload a picture of it or just take a picture of it. As long as it's clear enough when it goes into that design tool, again, it's got a absolutely free quality checker in there which is a really special tool so that you don't end up with blurry transfers when they arrive no surprises there it will also tell you if any of your designs are outside of the print area as well it will flag that to you as i said you can also add text within the tool things like that and we've got some preloaded designs if you want to make use of those too so lots of different options about what you can use transfers for even if you've just got a really large order or lots of names or something to cut out, you don't want to weed them. This is the perfect solution. I'll take one more because I can see another one. Just pop there. So how... Oh, okay, yeah, really good question. So what's the finish like? So they are completely smooth to the fabric, uh, which is lovely. They literally just feel like part of the... Look, it is moving. They literally just feel like part of the T-shirt. Um, similar, I would say, to our Happy Flex vinyl, which has got that nice smooth to the fabric finish. So, yeah, not uncomfortable in any way. It doesn't make the T-shirt heavy. It's literally perfect. It's fine. So that's probably all the questions I've got time for today. But as I said, I'll try and get to the rest in the comments after this session. But I hope this has been really helpful on how to apply any photos to a T-shirt at home. So thanks for joining us and I will see you again very soon.